Dear readers, welcome to our channel. Is it true? The robust ascent of China's technology in 2023, marked by the successful breakthrough in 7 nanometers chip fabrication, has captured global attention. Does this signify China's emergence as a global tech powerhouse? Will the breakthrough disrupt the existing international tech order? Where is the key to this achievement? How did China defy the odds to lead in chip manufacturing? Moreover, can global tech giants swiftly adapt to this technological upheaval, or will they face a new order in the tech realm? At this moment, we are not just witnessing technological progress, but also witnessing fierce competition among tech giants. How will this tech revolution reshape the global tech industry? Can China's tech prowess maintain its lead? In this vast ocean of technology, who will emerge as the ultimate champion? Indeed, the news of China's successful breakthrough in 7 nanometers chip technology has sent shockwaves through the tech industry and nations globally. As a crucial benchmark in tech competition, chip fabrication is a key indicator of a country's technological prowess. China's breakthrough indicates it has reached or even surpassed the manufacturing capabilities of the United States posing immense pressure on the U.S. The development in China's tech industry, particularly the breakthrough in 7 nanometers chip fabrication, is considered a significant milestone. This breakthrough will drive the overall development of China's tech industry and have profound effects on the global tech landscape. The application of 7 nanometers chips in various fields such as mobile devices, IoT, an AI promises enhanced performance and energy efficiency. China's breakthrough has garnered widespread attention and recognition globally. As one of the global tech giants, the US feels the pressure and is compelled to reassess and adjust its policies towards Chinese tech companies. According to reports, the US is even considering granting South Korean enterprises permanent exemptions to maintain their position in the chip industry. This news underscores China's rising tech prowess, and the impact it has on the global tech landscape. China's breakthrough brings about significant changes in the global tech landscape. It serves as a reminder for countries to strengthen independent innovation and international cooperation, to face new challenges in tech development. China's success is not only a victory for its tech industry, but also a triumph for global tech development. Only through strengthened independent innovation and international cooperation can countries continuously innovate and progress in tech development. The news of China's breakthrough in 7 nanometers chip technology has sparked widespread reflection and research. This breakthrough holds crucial significance for both the tech industry and the entire nation. It is not just a recognition of China's tech prowess, but also points the way forward for future tech development. China's tech industry breakthrough will continue to lead global tech development, bringing forth more opportunities and challenges for the world. The success of China's breakthrough in 7 nanometers chip technology is not only a victory for China's tech sector, but also a triumph for the global tech industry. The significance of this breakthrough lies in China proving itself alongside global tech giants in chip manufacturing showcasing tremendous progress and potential in tech prowess for China. The breakthrough in chip fabrication signifies a crucial step in independent research and innovation. China has already reached a technological level and production capacity comparable to the US and other developed countries, accelerating its development and international competitiveness in the tech field. The breakthrough in China also holds importance for the global tech landscape. In the increasingly competitive global tech arena, China's breakthrough provides formidable competition for other countries. It prompts global tech companies and nations to reassess their tech strategies and development paths, emphasizing the importance of independent innovation and tech industry development to maintain competitiveness. China's breakthrough further propels the advancement of global tech cooperation. Cooperation is indispensable in the development of the global tech industry. China's breakthrough creates opportunities for more countries and enterprises to collaborate. Countries can strengthen the exchange and collaboration of tech personnel, 
learn from each other's experiences and technologies, and collectively drive global tech progress. However, China's breakthrough also faces challenges and issues. In the intense global tech competition, continuous improvement in innovation and technological levels is crucial. China needs to increase investment in and support for tech research and development, cultivate more tech talents, and enhance its capability and level of tech innovation. China also needs to address existing issues such as intellectual property protection, standardization, and market access to enable its tech companies to create greater value and competitive advantages in the global market. The news of China's successful breakthrough in 7 nanometers chip technology has garnered widespread attention and focus from the global tech community. This breakthrough not only signifies China's rapid rise in tech prowess but also brings new development opportunities and challenges for China and the world. Only through enhanced cooperation and innovation can countries collectively drive global tech progress and development. On September 27, 2023, South Korean media reported what they termed as heartening news for South Korea. The U.S. Department of Commerce is set to announce a notice this week, granting South Korean chip companies permanent exemption for exporting to China. South Korean media claims this means South Korean enterprises will not be restricted by U.S. policies aimed at blocking China's chip industry, allowing them to freely export chip products to China. Additionally, South Korean companies can expand their chip production scale in China. Previously, the U.S. Department of Commerce had granted South Korean chip companies a one-year exemption and now the U.S. seems quite generous in granting permanent exemption to South Korean companies. This move is seen as a significant boost for South Korea, especially in the face of a sluggish export economy. However, analysts suggest that behind the seemingly benevolent gesture of the U.S. granting permanent exemption to South Korean enterprises lies a more strategic move. South Korean chip companies mainly produce storage chip products, and currently, the two major South Korean companies account for 70% of the market share in storage chips. South Korean chip companies also have factories in China, boasting substantial production capacity. Since 2018, the US has initiated measures to block China's chip industry, intensifying actions from 2019 onwards, such as prohibiting the export of equipment and technology for manufacturing high-end chips to China and restricting the export of related chip products to China. In 2022, the U.S. enacted the so-called Chip Science Act, and recently, the U.S. Department of Commerce released the implementation details of the Chip Science Act. One key provision aims to limit the scale of investment and expansion of chip factories in China by chip enterprises. According to the Chip Science Act, Chip companies that receive subsidies and investment tax incentives from the U.S. government are not allowed to increase their investment scale in China for 10 years, nor are they allowed to expand production capacity. That the Chip Science Act has become a crucial legal basis for the U.S. to block China's chip industry. However, now the U.S. Department of Commerce wants to grant South Korean companies permanent exemption, indicating a more complex motive. The U.S. is granting South Korean enterprises so-called permanent exemption not out of goodwill, but to leverage South Korean companies to suppress China's storage chip industry chain. China has made significant breakthroughs in storage chip technology, with several chip factories possessing the capability for large-scale production using 7 nanometers technology. The U.S. intends to use the enormous production scale of South Korean chip companies to suppress China's local storage chip enterprises, continuing its efforts to hinder the development and rise of China's chip industry. Viewing the U.S. granting permanent exemption to South Korean enterprises, it is likely that the U.S. will grant exemptions to other chip foundries soon. As China has made substantial progress in high-end chip technology with the ability to mass-produce 7 nanometers chips, the U.S. is once again resorting to dumping to hinder China's chip industry chain. In conclusion, let's summarize for the readers. 
In this breakthrough in 7 nanometers chip technology, we see China's tech rise at an unprecedented speed and determination. It's not just a technological leap, but also a profound reshaping of the global tech landscape. From this, we not only witness the rise of China's tech prowess, but also contemplate the global trends in tech development. The insights and reflections provide an excellent opportunity to understand the impact of tech development on countries and the world. We need to focus on how tech innovation propels national strength and how tech giants gain an edge in international competition. This also reminds us that independent innovation and international cooperation are key elements in driving tech development. Today's video concludes here. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye. Goodbye.